in this section we will talk about BGP configurations feature. Now uh, generally BGP configurations is a feature which is going to split one big autonomous system number into multiple small small autonomous system numbers. And the main reason for this is to minimize the number of IGP peering sessions. Now if you remember we discussed in our basic BGP neighbor classes like in order to have in order to overcome the split horizon rule we have split horizon rule which says an update sent by one IBGP neighbor should not be sent back to another IBGP neighbor now to overcome that rule what we can do is we have a one possible solution where we can have a full mesh neighbor relationship which means the router one has to form a neighborship with each and every other router within the AS the same way router two has to form the neighborship with each and every router within the same AS but there are some drawbacks like with a full mesh is we need to have a large number of TCP sessions which means the router 1 itself is forming four different TCP sessions established between them so if you have 40 routers which means every router need to have 39 TCP sessions a more number of neighbors at the same time you are going to receive the same network information from multiple neighbors which means the router 2 forwards from here and router 3 updates every neighbor is going to update uh, the name the router here and also a lot of manual configurations and also we need to have a full mesh neighbor relationship these are some of the disadvantages we have in a full mesh so to overcome that we also discussed a possible solution where we can have a route reflector where we can make a specific router as a route reflector and all the routers all the clients will peer only with the server and we don't need to have a client to client neighborship is not required this is one possible solution in general if you have a small AS numbers generally if you have let's say 10 to 20 routers in the same AS we can go with this solution as well apart from that we also have one more possible solution called BGP confederations now BGP confederations is more applicable a solution if you have a very big AS now very big autonomous system number which means let's say you have a very big AS service for AS where you have some uh, 40 to 50 routers inside that AS or maybe more than that uh, more like a service for a network now we can go with a concept of uh, BGP configurations now in BGP configurations what we are going to do is we are dividing one big autonomous system number here you can see in my example here I got AS 123 which is acting as my service for AS number and it has more than 40 to 50 routers inside that now what I'm going to do is if you want you can still use route reflectors but at the same time you need to make more number of servers and the clients which means the configuration goes a little bit much bigger in this case so we can use route reflectors so but at the same time what we can do is we can just divide them into multiple sub autonomous system numbers now we can make a group of sub A's inside that main autonomous system number and then what I can do is inside this sub -AS, I can have either a full mesh neighbor relationship let's say this sub -AS is having around uh, 10 routers now I can make either a full mesh and you can even I can apply a route reflector con concept inside this sub -AS again now what we are doing is we are exactly managing one big autonomous system number into multiple sub autonomous system numbers so we have three sub -AS in our diagram here now when it comes to outside the routers the routers outside our AS they will see this AS as only one AS that is AS 123 they are not at all aware of this sub autonomous system number this is something only happens within the same AS and when they propagate the route outside the AS they are going to send with only one AS information and within the in between the sub AS what we are going to do is we are going to configure again EBGP configurations and configurations EBGP now this concept we call as configurations now configuration IBGP when I say configuration means you need to understand it's a sub AS so IBGP concept inside the AS is still remains the same what we do like either we can use a full mesh or we can have a route reflector inside that and EBGP between the sub A's in between these two A's is still remains the same which means if you are peering with the connected interface you need to have uh, you can use remote A's command if you are peering with uh, update source or let's say if you are peering with a uh, loopback interface then we need to use update source EBGP multi hop commands remains the same 
So the configurations is still remains the same, which means the default TTL value will be one here. Here also it's one in case of configurations. And the next hop address also will not be changed here also like a normal EBGP. Like normally what happens an update sent by this router. When it sends to internal router, it will not change the next hop. Manually I have to change the next hop. That is also same. Means the configurations inside the configurations is more like a normal EBGP only. And uh, and it removes the configuration AS when it goes outside the configuration, which means when the update goes outside this AS, it is going to remove that configuration information. Let us see how it exactly it works. Let's see the BGP route propagation, how it happens inside the configurations here. Let's say this router is going to advertise some network. Uh, you can see here some network is written. Let's say 21.network is getting advertised to route one of the router, which is pairing with the router 3 is pairing with router 45. Now the router 3 is going to pair with a normal configuration. I'll get into the configuration more in detail. Now it's going to receive the route 21.network. Now router 3 is going to receive that route. It is going to pass on to its internal BGP neighbors. And then this internal BGP neighbor is going to pass on to the, its configuration external BGP neighbor, which means within the AS, within your main AS, this is my main AS, it's going to pass on that network information with information adding that 21.000. Now, uh, if you verify show IP BGP normally in our labs when we come, you'll see this network, whatever the network you have, the 21 dot network will be seen on this router as 45. That is the AS from where it is going to start. And this sub autonomous system number will be displayed in a uh, close brackets it is something like this so whenever you see this information you need to understand this is the outside AS from where it is coming here and then uh, it is receiving from my sub autonomous system number inside the BGP configurations now then it will go to this router and then from there it will reach the border router here now this border router is going to pass on this information to outside the network now when it is going to receive here it is going to receive that this update is coming from AS45 and then going through AS123. Now this router is not at all aware of this inside sub autonomous system numbers created using configurations. Now when it comes to customer end or when it comes to other AS, these routers are not at all aware of this information. So when the update goes from here to here, end to end, it will be simply it's coming from 45 and then going to AS123 and then finally reaching to my autonomous system number. But when it is advertised within the same AS, like let's say when it goes from here to here, let's say I'll, I'll take an example from here to here, when it receives on this side, let's go like this. This route will take one example how it goes. Now it starts from AS45 here. So it will be advertised to this router, router 3. Router 3 will pass on this information to router 2 and the router 2 will pass on this information here. Now when it receives on this AS, it will receive as AS45, which is coming from here. And then it is going to display in the close brackets. It's going from 65001, which is this AS. And then, now this AS is going to propagate this information to this AS here, this sub AS. Once it comes here, it will be 45, which from where it is originating here and then reaching 65001 in close brackets and then reaching 65002 and then that is the information you can see here if it receives it receives something like this the same thing i wrote here and finally when it goes here it will be seen as uh, originating from 45 here and then going through as 123 and that's it so when you see the bgp information it will be just a 45 and 123 now this is how it works it's a it's a actually easy way to manage very big autonomous system number now we have we still have a concept of route reflectors now you can apply that route reflector concept within the same sub as again still we can use that but route reflector is also used to minimize the number of ibgp sessions but the difference is route reflectors is more applicable in a small size autonomous system number. When you have a big size autonomous system where you have some 50 to 60 routers to manage, 
we can simplify the BGP uh, TCP sessions by using the concept of configurations. Let us try to see some of the points, uh, some of the configuration facts here. Like here, I got some uh, some of the points which will give some you know, information on configurations here. It is usable for huge autonomous system number which I discussed just now, where you cannot effort to split them into several sub -A's. So you can just divide. But the question is, now you may come across a scenario. Okay, so I have to use sub -A's. Now what AS number I should use? That's the question here. So now this AS number will be mostly your public autonomous system number which we use and then whatever the sub AS I'm going to use inside that this has to be your private AS number. You cannot go with public AS number so within the AS I have to use some of the private autonomous system numbers uh, as the sub AS numbers. So which means you need to have a proper design and you have to select the proper AS numbers when you are doing that. And note each sub -AS in the configuration need to have an internal BGP peering either full mesh or using route reflectors. Like I discussed, within the same within the sub -AS, we need to have either full mesh again because it's more like a normal IBGP, and these two are more like a normal EBGP. So, but for the outside users, they are just one AS, but within internal, they are just like a different. Uh, different autonomous system numbers. So we need to have a full mesh neighborship inside again and then uh, between this we need to have a normal EBGP just like uh, we do in a different autonomous system level like just like we do in a normal BGP. And as you can see the configurations are not a much advantage generally if you have a small autonomous system numbers with a few routers. If you have a, a few routers let's say hardly you have 10 to 15 routers inside this uh, it's really uh, not recommended to get into some configurations but if you have a very large autonomous system numbers it's more you get a more better advantage of configurations